Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. Today, we are going to be taking a look at my node for the iPhone. Now, if you're curious about what my node is or what mind maps are, well, the app has a very good section which introduces you to mind maps. Now, assuming that you know what mind maps are, let's get started with the review. If you have previously used my node, well, all your documents are going to be right there synced via iCloud. Now, that's a beautiful thing that the app does and I'm so happy that it does not use its own syncing service, which needs a whole new sign up process. And I'm really glad they stuck to the good old iCloud syncing. You can start off by creating a new document or editing an existing one. And well, if you have any nodes or the parent main node itself, simply double tap to start editing it. Or a tiny plus icon that appears on the screen and you can tap that to create a new node or extend an existing node. Another cool little feature that I like about this app is that emojis are completely natively supported. You can also create to-do list items on the way and they're pretty easy to do with the shortcut items available right above the keyboard. For this review I do not use images in any of the nodes but do know that it is definitely possible by using the shortcut item right above the keyboard. Now anytime you're done editing or creating a new document you can tap the leftmost icon on the top which is the four squares to go back to the main screen. If you're using iCloud syncing every time you close a document it's going to show a red icon which indicates that it's uploading to iCloud and it'll also show you the progress along the way. If it's downloading a document from iCloud it's going to show the exact icon but with a reverse arrow indicating that it's downloading the document and it'll be ready for your use once it's done. Now every document card has an options icon towards the bottom right of it and tapping on that gives you a couple of options like renaming a document, moving it, duplicating it or browsing the different versions of the app that have been stored in iCloud or simply deleting the document. The revisions option is the most interesting one. Now say you've made a mistake while you were editing and you need to go back in time and get an earlier version of the document out well you can very easily do that now every single change that you make to a particular document gets stored as a revision and you can go back and restore any one of them when you restore it actually does not rewrite the original file but instead creates a very convenient copy of it into the file section and you can go ahead and use that and delete the new one that you made a mistake in or however else it works for you on the main screen of the app on the top left you have two icons one is the create a new document icon where you can create a new document or import one from iCloud Drive or Dropbox if you have your Dropbox account connected. The second one is the recently used files and that gives you a list of files that you've recently interacted with. Now this list will keep changing as you interact with different documents. Towards the right you have first the search icon which is very straightforward. It quickly allows you to search for a very particular document that you've been trying to find. Towards its right is the settings icon which takes you to the settings screen. Now it's a very basic settings screen that allows you to customize a few things so let's talk about it shall we? Here you'll also find the what is the mind mapping section that I referenced to earlier during this video. From the about screen, if you go into settings, you'll find a couple of options to turn on or off iCloud syncing as well as connect your Dropbox account. There are a couple of other options there, but the most important one is the bonus screen option. Now, if you have to present a mind node in a meeting or to your client, well, you can simply turn this on, connect it to an external display, which should be most useful on the iPad. And from there, you can interact with the document and the same will be mirrored on an external. Now, in the theme section, you can select a couple of the default themes or you can customize your own personal theme. Now I made a couple of edits before starting recording this video and I don't like them so you can always go back and restore it to its default state. Now my favorite theme is obviously the fresh one. Now if you ever found yourself to have selected a wrong theme for a particular mind map you can always open up the document and on the top right you have the themes icon tapping on that it opens the dialog towards the bottom of the screen and from there you can select any theme that you like and apply it from right there. It also works as a quick preview so that's pretty neat. 
and because these update in real time, you can always go check out new themes that the app adds if they do ever in the future, which I really hope they do. This is a very neat feature to have. Back into the documents view. Next to the theme set icon, you have the share icon well, you to share the document. And next to it is the overview icon. Now tapping on this will give you a top down overview of your entire document. Now this has a tree like structure if you quickly need to check what items are there in the mind map if you have any to do's and you can also filter it for any undone to do's and just work on those. So mind node is an app that you really need to make your own. You need to develop a workflow that works for you and if you'd like you can go ahead and customize how your documents look and then well it's just gonna work every single time for you. I use my note every day for my work and I definitely recommend you check it out. It is also the free app of the week on the app store with its link down in the description. Well if you like this video hit the like button. If you disliked it you know what to do and if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers!